So here's the problem. I've got 50 PCs on a network all running Windows XP Service Pack 2 using the Windows firewall. And I'm rolling out an application which requires a couple of ports to be open on the firewalls. Now, what makes matters worse is it's not a domain network, so I can't use group policies. This means I need to go to each machine individually and change the firewall settings. Normally this means going through a bunch of GUI, but I don't want to do that. What we're going to do today is show you how to automate that process with a couple of batch scripts. So we're here in our command prompt, and let's take a look at some of these commands that are going to make life a lot easier. First is net sh firewall show config. And this is basically going to show us the configuration of the firewall, whether it's enabled, what ports are open, what programs are using. And what we want to do is create a couple of batch files. The first one is going to disable the Windows firewall. So let's run copy con disable dot bat and enter in the command net sh firewall set op mode disable. Press control Z and enter to save the file. Now if we run disable.bat, it disables the firewall. Now we need to create a batch script to enable the firewall again. So again copy con enable.bat and this time it's net sh firewall set op mode enable. Now when we enter in enable, the firewall turns on. So now let's get a little bit more advanced. What we're going to do is create two batch files which are going to open the ports that we normally use on our computer or close those ports. And this is great because it allows us to change profiles depending on where we are. Like if we're sitting at a coffee shop on the Wi-Fi. So in order to do this, let's go ahead and create another batch file and this time we'll name it open ports so for this example we're going to show you how to open and close two ports and in this case it's going to be 80 and 21 as if you were running a web server or an FTP server so we've gone ahead and opened up our open ports batch and we're going to run net sh firewall add port opening TCP for the protocol 80 for the port and we're going to call this web server. And we'll do the same again, but this time change it to port 21 and call it FTP server. Now we'll run that batch file and it's going to open both those ports. Now we'll create a batch file to close those two ports. So copy con close ports dot bat and net sh firewall delete port opening tcp 80 and the same goes for port 21 and now if we run close ports there they go now we're going to automate the process a little bit more by creating an auto run.inf file. For that, copy con auto run.inf. The first line is going to be bracket auto run, bracket. Second line is going to be action equals config firewall, but it can be anything. And the next line is going to be shell execute. And in this case, we want it to be equal to open ports.bat save the file and basically what this is going to do is when we pop in a CD with these files on it it's going to look for this auto run .inf. and if it finds it it's going to see the second line which is shell execute equals open ports bat and it's going to run that batch file now it gets a little bit trickier with thumb drives or flash drives or whatever you want to call them and that's where the action equals config firewall comes in when you use a removable drive like a thumb drive flash drive whatever and you plug it into a Windows XP machine, Service Pack 2, it's going to pop up a little dialog, you've probably seen it before, asking you what action you want to take. It won't automatically run the auto run.inf. However, at the very top of the list will be config firewall. All we need to do after that is press enter and it will run our batch script. So now we're going to take all the files that we've created and put them on a CD so we can take them from computer to computer. I'm going to run start dot to open this folder in Explorer, fire up a copy of Nero, create a new data disk, just drag and drop those files over to the CD. And we're going to call it firewall config. 
and let's go ahead and burn it. So if you're like me and you've got a lot of commands that you need to run on multiple PCs that aren't on a domain network, you can use the same process with the autorun.inf to call a batch file and run anything you want. So now that our burn is complete, let's go ahead and finish this. Eject the CD, pop it right back in, and it should go ahead and open those ports on the firewall. There it goes, ports are open. Now one last thing we can do to make life a little bit easier if you're on the road between hotel networks and wireless networks is to create shortcuts on the desktop to these open ports and closed ports batch files. And this kind of allows us to have profiles depending on where we are. We'd also like to stress that nothing beats a hardware firewall and you should not only rely on the Windows XP built-in firewall.